Hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you my top 5 Horns Zone Offenses for High School Basketball Teams. Hey coaches and players, how do you like this shirt? Link in the description. So hello everyone, my name is Alan. If you are new to this channel, I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. Anyways, so today I'm going to show you some of my top 5 zone offenses with the Horns basketball plays. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. So let's start with the 2-3 zone. This is play number uno, number one. Basically, what we are going to start with is essentially having player one 100% guarding the point guard and player two kind of going in between player five and player one. That is most likely the offense that you will be going up against with a 2-3 on a high school basketball team. And basically, what we are going to start with is player four popping out so that player one can pass to player four, which will then bring player one one over guarding player four. Now what we will have is player two cutting up and screening for player four and we are going to have a double screen, a double staggered screen for player three. Now what's going to happen is player four is going to use that screen and player two is going to pop out. Player one has always been taught to fight through those screens and we're going to have player three using those that double screen as well and this is going to be a swing around to player two and then to player three for that three point shot. Now having this same play against a 3-2 zone works just as well. What we are going to have is player four popping out for the pass and what we will have now is player one and five setting the staggered screen for player three and that's going to leave player one here in limbo however we're going to be having a screen happening over here at the exact same time so that's going to bring player one over mainly because he needs to shadow in case something's going on over here and this is just a decoy to try and get players away from the main play so this is going to be a screen Player 2 is going to pop. We're going to bring player 5 out. Now, at the same time, look at how much space is open in that key. Player 3 is going to use that double screen. This could be a double, a pass to player 2, 4, 3, a pass to player 3, 4, 3. Or we could have player 5 roll towards the basket. Any one of these three players could hit him up with a pass because player 4 is going to be behind him. And this should be a nice easy layup. Now this one here, this is the second play. This is going to be a nice quick hitter. So what I mean by that is something that's going to take about 3 seconds to run so that you can get a nice quick easy shot or points. You're going to have player 5 and 4 screening down for player 3 and 2. And that's going to be bringing up these two players. Now they could be both open for a three point shot. Or what could happen now is either player one could recover. This is more of a read and react play as well. Player one could recover and guard player two. In which case I want player one or your point guard to drive towards the rim. The opposite side post will then be rolling towards the basket. So we could have a double pass. Or what could happen as well is if player four fought through and that leaves player one up top i want player four blue to either pop or roll towards the basket for the layup if he pops out i want him open for a three-point shot now let's check this out against a 3-2 defense against a 3-2 defense i want player four and five to screen down for these two players in that zone this will bring these two players down as well, maybe out a little bit wider, and we want players two and three to pop up. Now they could be open for the three point shot, however what we're going to have now is instead once whatever side gets the ball, I want that post player to be posting up in the post against that player down there. This could be a mismatch depending if they switched off, which you don't normally see in a zone, but I have seen it once in a while, or what could happen as well because there's not many that that many low post defenders down there player five could be front facing on the weak side and this could be just a quick hammer pass not a hammer pass just a quick hard pass across the key to him for the layup 
Now, in our third offense, this is going to be stacking the side with the Horns offense. So how we are going to do that is we are going to have player four set a screen down for this low post or the middle defender in the 2-3. And we're also going to have player five screening out for player four. At this time, we're going to have player three cut across. And he may be open for that three-point shot over here. If player three pops up to play defense, of course, player two is going to be open. At this time, we also want player four to be now going down to the low post, which will bring player five down with him. And player five blue will be going to the high post now as well for that high post shot too. So now we have stacked the side. We have stacked this side. So that now there's multiple different shot opportunities. Now let's check this out against a 3-2 defense. So what we are going to see here is now player 5 setting a screen down on player 5 red. And because there's not a third player over on this side, we're going to have player 4 setting up a screen for player 3 red right there. We're going to have player 3 blue cut through. And now we are going to have player 2 red be guarding player 3 so that he doesn't get that pass. We're also going to have player 5 blue go down to that low post and player 4 cut across to that high post right here which should be wide open for that shot as well. Now in our fourth zone offense, this is just a quick, quick hitter one more time. We're going to have player 4 and 5 cut across the key. And they're going to pop out to the three-point line, which should result in a three-point shot. Now, this will be a little bit different against a 3-2 zone. Now, let's check out the 3-2 zone. Against the 3-2 zone, what we are going to see is a screen on the inside of these players out here. Except, instead of it being on the same side, they're going to be going across the key and screening across. Now, we want player one to go one-on-one -on -one with his man which will bring in this defense, which would leave these two players open out in the wings for an open three-point shot, or they could be cutting baseline for a nice easy layup. Now, in our fifth and final play, this is again one more quick hitter that I like to run. I personally am a big fan of quick hitting basketball plays. Basically, what we are going to have is something very, very simple. We are going to have Player 5 setting a screen or player 4 setting a screen. It doesn't matter whichever side he calls it on for the point guard. We are then going to have player 2 setting a screen on this wing defender down here. And we're going to have player 3 cut in baseline out to the 3 point line for the 3 point shot. Now that could be run on both sides. Now let's check this out against the 3-2 zone as well. Against the 3-2 zone, it does differ just a bit. Now what we are going to have is player 3 screening for player 3 red, and player 2 is going to be screening down for the post player. Player 1 is going to be dribbling a bit over to this side of the court, and player 3 is going to cut baseline, and he will be open down in this low corner for the 3-point shot as well. Again, this can be run on either side. But this will get you a nice open three-point shot. Now, I hope you have all enjoyed these five plays. If you want to run the Horns offense against a zone defense in high school, I suggest just suggest some of these plays for your team, mainly because they have worked for my teams and teams that I've seen in the past and well, currently as well. So if you have liked this, hit the like button and subscribe. I do post new videos every single day. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow. If you are looking for a great basketball workout, check out these Victorum bands. They are absolutely amazing. You can attach them onto a pole, you can work on your first step, or somebody can hold you back and you can run with it and work on your legs. Check them out in the link in the description below. They are amazing. So if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on, 
I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.